I'm going to show you how to transfer files from one Google Drive to another Google Drive. In my case, um, I didn't want to use the free Google options to do this. The two choices I considered were the sharing method where you take ownership and that's a hassle and has a lot of limitations and also the uh, t Google takeout feature where you essentially download everything into uh, zip files and then you upload them. The problem with that is it has many limitations. You need a spot to download it and to upload it so it's two steps etc. Um, also it converts the file formats. That's probably the showstopper for me. So I looked around and found this um, Molt Cloud. Uh, I don't know why it's not multi cloud, but it's a uh, Molt Cloud and uh, if you look at the pricing page, if you choose limited data and you click on this monthly here, I chose the $10 per month and I'm just going to get it for one month. It also has a 14 day return policy, so if it doesn't work for you, you should be able to get your money back. So I did that uh, after I logged in. It looks like this. Uh, I already added my uh, Google Drives. I did that by uh, clicking Add Cloud here and choose Google Drive. Then you log in, uh, username and password, and uh, it adds these. You can give these uh, names and rename them just by clicking on rename. And I gave it, uh, this is my uh, domain, and then this is my free uh, Google Drive. So I've got 16 gigabytes of files here. And now it's time to do the uh, transfer or set up the transfer. So I go to cloud transfer, not team transfer. That's for doing multiple people. So it's got a simple from and to box. You just click on the from box, and I'm going to take everything from this drive here. And if you expand it, you can choose a subset, just uh, grabbing a few folders or, you know, whatever. So uh, you can choose to do that or just do the whole thing. I'm going to do the whole thing. So there's uh, the choice there. And then the destination, I just choose that and choose OK. It's very important to choose these options here because the defaults aren't exactly great. Um, if the file name already exists, I'm going to skip the file. Um, I don't want to delete it, so I'm going to leave this unchecked. And I definitely do want to keep the file modification date. Uh, I want to uh, know when I created those and preserve that. And uh, Sure, I'll automatically rename the files if they contain special characters. In my case, they don't, so it's not really relevant. And I definitely don't want to keep all the transfer files in one folder. I'm going to bring it over exactly as it sits on the source drive. Email uh, notification when it's done. Sure, why not? And then filter. So this is where you would put in which files you want to ignore, or conversely, uh, which only include certain files uh, with certain extensions. So I'm going to click Save here. And so this is my uh, cloud transfer, and I can schedule it. And uh, now I'm going to transfer now. So it's got a task list in the upper left-hand corner, I see. So if I click on that, I can see it's numbered at task 01. And then from this drive, and it's counting the files now. I don't know how many files, uh, certainly thousands of files. I guess is uh, anywhere from five to 10,000 files. So it's going to count that, and then it's going to uh, bring those over. So we'll wait. I'm going to fast forward over this portion.
Okay, now uh, it's counted all the files. I think it was 6,000 and some files, and it's showing 0%. If I open a uh, incognito window just to allow multiple uh, accounts, this is my destination account, and uh, these are all the folders. You can see they've already arrived, and uh, it's populating uh, each of these. Now let's uh, move this aside. And you can see it's uh, 1%. And so I imagine this will take uh, an hour or two uh, tops and just you know run in the background. So that's it. I'll let you know how it goes. But it looks good so far. Thanks for watching.